Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing White Flowers from Creed. Right here. This is a real exclusive fragrance. I've had it in my collection for a little bit and I'm going to let you know what I think. So if you'd like to know what I think, then keep watching. Now, a few things first. I always like to let you guys know if I was given something to review or not. This was not given to me to review. But I didn't, I haven't ever bought a full bottle of this. I just kind of get this refilled. So I am just letting you guys know that. It is part of my personal collection to spend my money on it, but was not, you know, <laughs> not a full bottle of this. This is not a sponsored post whatsoever. Now, the real exclusive line from Creed is definitely their higher and more expensive fragrances. If you can even imagine Creed being more money, you're looking at spending a, a little under $550 for a 75 mil and for a 250 mil, you're looking at spending just under $1,000. So this is part of my collection. I like this fragrance, but I'm going to let you guys know if I think it's worth that price. And again, I'm going to be talking about it as if you were paying full MSRP without getting a decan, a split, or finding it someplace else. So the notes in this are really quite nice. You have top notes of lemon, uh, green apple, and violet leaf. You have jasmine, rose, and musk and the base, and then you have narcissus and sandalwood um, at the base. No, you have jasmine, rose, and musk at the heart, and then you have um, sandalwood and narcissus at the base. There we go. I can't say words. Uh, the beauty of this fragrance to me really is the dry down. Again, obviously you would hope the dry down, but the opening of this is quite spectacular. It's a very nice tart apple. It has a little bit of citrus in it, which gives it a little bit of brightness. It is a little tiny bit, and I mean the teeny is a bit sharp in the opening, but I actually think that's to be praised and not to be looked down on because overall this entire fragrance has this really nice balance of being this kind of fruity, super white floral fragrance without being sweet and I really like the balance in that. When the jasmine and the musk comes out, this is where this fragrance really shines and sparkles. It is very crisp, it is very cool, but you don't lose the apple and you don't lose the jasmine and those two together make such a fantastic combination. You don't get much rose, it just kind of gives it a little bit of heft in the background. And the sandalwood and the narcissus does a really good job at too, again, of giving this fragrance a little bit more roundness, but really not taking away from the stars of the show, which are the apple and the jasmine and then also the added lemon. Now for longevity on my skin, this actually performs pretty well. I live in the tropics, guys. You know, I hope for four to six hours on my skin, I get six to eight. This does sit a little bit closer to my skin though. The first hour, it projects a little bit past arm's length and then it becomes a very intimate skin scent. That being said, it smells very beautiful, very bright and fresh. Uh, so I think that that mixed with it not being very loud makes it appropriate for professional environments like school or work or the theater. And this is a fantastic fragrance to wear in the afternoon, spring, summer, fall, pretty much whenever you can wear this. And I think it also would be really great for summer evenings as well. It can be dressed up so you can wear it to formal settings and it also is very chic dressed down as well. It's a very versatile fragrance, you can get a lot of use out of it and just overall it's a pleasure to wear. I really love the apple in this you guys. It's really quite perfect. It's like if you imagine biting into a Granny Smith apple, you know how sometimes they're a little bit less sweet and a little bit more tart and you're kind of like, eh? That's kind of like what it smells like but that's a positive that's a positive and that's what I love about this scent this is a white floral scent again the jasmine is very predominant but that added apple note just takes us to another level and makes it really beautiful that being said is it worth the royal exclusive price I'm gonna have to say no the reason why has to do with when you're looking at spending six hundred or thousand dollars on a bottle of perfume you want more than just an amazing fragrance. You want it to be memorable, you want it to be inspiring, you want it to have a little bit of ingenuity, um, inspiration, um, creativity, you want more. And this fragrance to me doesn't have that 
added star power to it that to me justifies the extra cost. Now, if you were to pay the prices for Creed's regular fragrances or the other fragrances in Creed's line, I think this could absolutely stand in there and just be perfectly acceptable at that price point. But I think the added cost of the Royal Exclusives makes it a little bit too expensive to buy unless this is the type of fragrance that you just absolutely go wild for. Now, again, it performs very well. It doesn't have much projection, but if you're not looking for that, some people don't like their fragrances to be too loud. This is great. But there are a lot of other really beautiful, fresh um, floral scents out there that are bright and perfect for the same uh, situations that you would wear this that are like a fraction of the cost, which is why I don't think it really fits well into the Royal Exclusive cost point but i do think it is a stunning fragrance and if you can find a great deal on it it's worth checking out or at least go to a creed counter and sample it and i mean see if they'll give you a sample and wear this throughout the day it's such a pleasure to wear a pleasure to wear in the heat and since it gets very humid here it's nice to have something that cuts through that and kind of cools you off and but it's still really beautiful and sparkling so I genuinely absolutely love this fragrance and I will continue to get this little guy filled. Maybe one day I'll get a bottle of it. I think for me, I would definitely want a bottle of it, but I think that at full price, it's, uh, it's not a go out and immediately buy it. Definitely sample first but it is a beautiful fragrance and it's worth checking out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always guys, if you like my fragrance reviews and my videos, remember to give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue doing videos like this and also don't forget to subscribe because it's free and I'm free and I put out new videos every Monday through Friday and sometimes on the weekends as well. So I'll always have something for you to watch. In any case, I hope you guys are all happy and healthy and have a great day, month, year, whatever. And I'll see you next time. Bye.